When it comes to Black Clover, one of the things that really grabs me about this franchise is the ability it has to make the various characters come off so human that they at times remind you of people that you know in your own life and at times they can remind you of yourself. The reason why is that this author does not hesitate to make the characters feel flawed. In fact, Tabata embraces their flaws to the point where the flaws of the characters become a central part of the character's DNA, but not in a bad way. Instead, it's a beautiful way that it's done. One character who embodies this so well, in my opinion, is Vanessa. Upon first glance, anybody who starts the story will likely see Vanessa in a bra and panties, big boobs just spilling out, and they would think, okay, Fan service checked off of the Shonen genre checklist. However, as we spend more time with Vanessa as a character, we learn that there's more to her character than just being a drunken fan service character. So much more that she's one of those characters who fascinates me a lot. Even before we got to her origin story, there were signs right in your face that there was more to Vanessa than met the eye. The fact that she was always drinking, it was a huge red flag. And once I got past the lack of clothes on her body, I began looking at the deeper meaning because Vanessa, by her actions and her behavior, gave off the vibes of someone who was a survivor of abuse. Abuse-related trauma can develop after a person's been hurt, neglected in childhood. Abuse isn't just a punch to the face. It isn't just a switch it isn't just being beaten with belts and switches and extension cords or whatever else you can think of. It can be emotional abuse and at times it can be sexual abuse. Childhood trauma affects people down to the way that their brains function affecting everything. Their emotions, their memory, their thinking process, and even their sense of self. Vanessa Ben's drinking was already bad enough and as someone who once struggled with alcohol, I picked up on her struggles right away, but the lack of clothing symbolically showed that this wasn't just a character who was literally stripped down, but she was also a character who was stripped down emotionally and whatever it was that she was dealing with, it was bad enough that she drowned herself in what was inside of her bottle. It will be during the arc where we will learn about Vanessa's upbringing that we will see the true reason behind everything. Vanessa hadn't been sexually abused, but she had been emotionally abused. And when you look at her circumstances, both the good and the bad parts of her personality begin to make a lot of sense. Kept inside of a prison for much longer than anyone should ever have to endure, Vanessa wasn't able to truly live life, not in the way that she should have been able to. She was a caged bird who couldn't spread her wings to fly out in freedom. She was only able to catch glimpses into what life could be later on for her in life, and that was if she ever escaped. That trauma that she had to endure, it explained perfectly why she was drinking and why at times the sense of self-worth in a woman so beautiful at times it felt like it was just lacking when it came to Vanessa. Just as she would dress in her bra and panties while she was in the Blackpool's hideout, she was stripped down emotionally while inside that cage until Yami arrived. Yami's words are pretty simple. Ignore fate. Do whatever it is that you want to. Walk your own path. And if that path means staying a prisoner, then so be it. But the choice will be yours. Just as some abuse victims don't fully understand what happened to them and that what happened to them was wrong, but their bodies and their mind will react in ways that will protect them from the full effects of that danger, leading to unhealthy coping mechanisms that can worsen as you get into adulthood, Vanessa, upon re-entering the world, still had a ways to go. For someone stripped down to the bare bottom, a return to normal. It isn't just as easy as Yami makes it sound, where you walk back into the world and you have no issue. Just as soldiers who serve in war need time to readjust to society, victims like Vanessa, whose mind, body, and soul needed time to adjust to the world that she was experiencing post-captivity. Vanessa was in a very fragile state. The beauty in all of this is that Vanessa's thread magic and the ability to alter fate is so fitting for because of her circumstances. Vanessa, with this magic, can and has altered the fates of those who are around her. But even without using the power on herself, she began to alter her own fate on that day that she chose to leave the witch's forest behind Yami. People who go through trauma will tell you that your trauma, it doesn't define you, and it doesn't, but those of us who have experienced the harshest side of life will also tell you that it also is not that simple as some people make it seem. Some traumas, even after you think that you've moved on from them, they still linger inside of you to a certain extent. Not to the point where they control you, but there are residual effects that are still there inside of you. And there are things that can trigger certain responses out of you. 
and at times we've seen that out of Vanessa. However, the beauty about Vanessa is that despite all of this, we've seen that kind, nurturing side of her that we've seen multiple times, whether it be the playful flirting that she does with Fenrir to have Fenrir reach his potential, or the way that she placed the insignia of the Black Bulls on Asta, and the way that she was so quick to comfort Noel on her first day with the Black Bulls and offer to help her control her magic. We see someone who, despite everything she's been through, she's still trying to be of use to others, form those connections, and cherish those around her. Vanessa is a bird that's no longer caged, but instead, she's able to fly free through the skies. But since she's been alone for so long, the flight that she wants to take, she wants to take it alongside those that she cares for, and that's what's so beautiful. It proves the expression that some of the most beautiful souls in this world are some of the most damaged souls because those of us who have been damaged know what it's like to pick up the pieces to make themselves whole again and they want to be there in order to help others through that process or to prevent them from having to do so ever before again because you're there to try and protect them. Vanessa is well aware of her faults but Vanessa as the stories progress has begun the process of moving past those very faults and making some of those faults her strength, depending on how you interpret some of her actions. That strength that comes from her believing in herself as being more than just being a damaged, drunken eye candy of a witch is what led to her being able to assist Asta in battle more than once since that moment. It's what led her to being able to save her comrades' lives, and it's very fitting. She's someone who was once alone, but now she isn't anymore. And being able to protect those that she loves is the best way to prevent her from ever being alone again, because no one should ever have to go back to the darkness that Vanessa once endured. But while it wouldn't be a literal prison where she's shut off from the world, having those bonds ripped away from her would be placing her in an emotional hell that if she's ever put back into ever again, after having gone through so much to get to her current state of mind, Climbing back out of that hole might be the biggest challenge that she's ever had to face, and it might be a challenge that she can't face alone if she ever wants to get out, which makes every time she uses that ability to alter fate all the more special. The beauty of Vanessa is seen even further when we look at the fact that even after returning to the witch's forest and being punished for her prior actions, Vanessa still mustered up the strength to defend the witch's forest even when the eye of the midnight sun attacked. It shows true strength for someone abused to not only return back to their abuser, but also defend their abuser when the easier option would be to just let all the chips fall where they may. However, it's because of the growth that Vanessa's experienced that she was able to overcome this and to this day remains one of my favorite things about Vanessa's character because it would have been all too easy for her just to turn her head to what had just occurred, even if it meant those who had nothing to do with her abuse were destroyed in the process. Even when the Queen of Witches tried to take control of Asta to gain control of his anti-magic and then tried to take Vanessa herself, Vanessa still fought back against her abuser and that was such a huge moment right there. And I'll explain to you why. Not every abuse victim is given that opportunity to fight back or outright shut down their abuser in order to gain that closure. However, Vanessa was given that chance and the way that the entire scene was written was so fitting, especially when you consider the fact that Vanessa was protecting her friends as well. Vanessa's powers were what were able to save those that she cared for. Her powers were what gave her the strength to show that she was more than a caged bird that would be kept locked away from the world. She was now a free bird that would leave the witch's forest with the flock and defeat the queen of witches. That was symbolism of that very moment. It's really what I love about Vanessa's character is that despite all that she's been through, she still found a way to fight back and bring herself above water. Though at times it might take a little longer than you would like, Vanessa still finds a way to do it. She still found a way to not let her reality be defined by the horrors of her past and as her bonds deepened with the Black Bulls and the enemies grew stronger, Vanessa worked that much harder to support them in battle. And when the time called for it, she saved them from a horrible fate. For Vanessa, it can be easy to say that her infatuation with Yami stems from Yami saving her when she was in this really dark place. That certainly has a bit to do to it. There's no denying that. But there's more to it to that too. Vanessa has a fierce sense of loyalty to Yami and it's that loyalty that he earned by saving her when she was trapped in the witch's force that makes it so worth it. 
Yami might have been the first man that she saw and the first person that rescued her. It might very well be the reason that she clings to him and is attracted to him, but it's through Yami's action and his personality on top of this fact that I believe her heart has grown fond of him. And it's not just as a leader, but also as a person and as a person that one day she might hope to settle down with. It remains to be seen. However, the root of her feelings for Yami, they aren't romantic. They're rooted in gratitude. They're rooted in loyalty. They're rooted in just Yami as a person. And that's what makes that love that she has for Yami so pure. Back during a time when she couldn't see a future for herself, Yami provided a means for her to choose that future that she currently has in the future that she's yet to claim for herself, which is what makes their relationship so special. Vanessa is a reminder that even the most broken of us, we still have something to contribute to society. However, it might just take us a little while longer for us to find our purpose. However, once we get there, we'll cherish every moment because we remember that time when we were broken inside and when we were all alone. That's the beauty of Vanessa's character. She won't ever be the strongest black bull. She won't ever be soloing the king of the devils or anything like that. She won't be the strongest witch at least in terms of power that is. It's important to remember that true strength isn't just measured by how much damage you can inflict like somebody like Asta or how many planets you can blow up like somebody like Frieza. True strength, it actually comes from within. Just as a bodybuilder will spend their hours each day lifting weights and training and practicing proper nutrition, someone like Vanessa builds herself up by being a survivor. She survived things that will break people who were weaker than herself. While her body might be physically weak, and there was a time where her spirit was even weaker than her body, she still emerged from everything much stronger than she was before, and that loyalty to Yami, that love for her comrades, and that need to grow stronger to protect them and alter fate where needed is what makes her perspective so special, because it shows the true strength doesn't come from the power of her magic but instead it comes from the beauty of her soul however those are just my thoughts on vanessa let me know what you guys think about vanessa's character down in the comment section what was your favorite moment for vanessa and once black clover is finally over what will you remember her the most for but as so always guys if you like anything i had to say don't forget to comment rate subscribe and share and do not forget to check back on the channel we talk about other anime besides black clover so consider subscribing but have an awesome day guys Thank you.